Well, if uh, you've been watching television the last week or two, you can't help from having a baseball fever. Uh, somebody today asked me who uh, was my favorite team, and, uh, <laughs> well, I ain't got one. In fact, last year was the first time I ever took any interest in, in baseball at all. I was invited up to Louisville, up there where they was throwing a sh shindig for uh, 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 Pee Wee Reeves, and they invited me up there to be a after-dinner speaker. Uh, well, <laughs> after after supper speaker is what I turned out to be. Uh, although my invitation said be there at dinner, but I couldn't get a bus to get there at that time of day. But. Uh, but I, not until I got there did I find out that they wanted me to give a talk on how and why young folks would get interested in baseball out in the country. And, uh, and I didn't know. Uh, of course, there was, a, uh, there, was, there was a fellow there by the name of Lefty Gomez, and he was he's already retired, and I figured, well, if I strike up a conversation with him and kind of chew the rag around there a little while, uh, Maybe I'll learn enough that they won't know that I don't know what I'm talking about, whether I do or not. And we got to talk in there, and well, he lost me on the first curve, and uh, he was just a hard man to follow, you know, talking like that. He'd mention curves every once in a while, and get into first base, and Joe DiMaggio, and everything. And we talked there for 30 minutes, and then I didn't learn uh, but one thing, and that's... Uh, how long two fellers can talk, one about baseball and other about Marilyn Monroe, and neither one knows it. <laughs> I've been thinking about that. It's been a year, and I don't know if he thinks that I know as much about Marilyn Monroe as I thought he was talking about baseball. Uh, he's got a bad opinion of me. But... <clears throat> I told him about a little thing that happened down home uh, that, uh, well, it was interest to me anyway. I was going down the road one evening. It was just dusky dark, and there was a bunch of fellers anywhere from 10 to 14 years old playing uh, baseball out there in the field, and everything was quiet. It was kind of lull in the game, and I just stopped and looked the situation over, and you could tell that all of them was kind of dreaming, you know, kind of big lead. There, there was the... the, the the, the pitcher, he was out there tromping around, poor pitcher's tromp, and the, the batter was up there, and they, they was all dreaming of, of big league baseball right at that one minute. And there was one little bitty fellow out in the field, though. Uh, he was the only fielder that particular team had, and uh, <laughs> he hadn't grown up to the point that he thought of big time yet. And uh, just as I got up even with the road, I heard him holler, Frank! He said, Frank! Of course, <laughs> he made him... He, made sure that he they knew that he meant it of course i can't do that here on television but he, he said uh, he said frank said if you're fixing to throw that ball throw it said the skiers have already eaten second base and they're looking at me and, uh, and he was serious about it too he i i don't know uh, about down home about you know, where y'all live but baseball didn't too much have a change down where i'm from because you'd think out there in the country well, we, we, we had to play in a cow pasture, and uh, we didn't have real bats or balls or, or gloves. <laughs> we didn't have real basties either. <laughs> no. I know I've caught, I've caught the dickens a lot of times come in with home plate all over me from one day. Uh, we, uh, but of all the drawbacks, of all the drawbacks that we had down there, that we had we had one feller that turned out to be what you'd call a real baseball player. In fact, they even called him down to Florida there, and uh, on his very first day down there, the very first time up to bat, he hit the first ball and knocked it plumb out of the field. Uh, <laughs> of course, he he got mixed up in his directions and run to the third base instead of first, and they're pretty strict about that, so they <laughs> sent him home. But, uh, they, they didn't even take time to consider that he was a stranger down that part of the country. <laughs> Baseball, I don't know, but uh, if you fellas bring your marbles next Saturday night, I'll go you around, but I gotta go now.